Hello boys and girls, I'm happy that you're here today to make some art. I am going to tell you about an artist, his name is Jean Miro, and he was from Spain, and he was a really abstract, or actually he is a very famous abstract artist. He started to paint really early, when he was about 8 years old, and then from then on just developed his style, and he's just famous because he he makes really fun, fun paintings with abstract shapes. I'm going to show you first a picture of him. This is a black and white picture that was taken a while ago. And um, he's painting on large pieces of paper. And uh, this one is in black and white. But you'll see that when I show you his um, color version, so here's one, this is one of my favorites that I have in the art room. I have, it's, it's a really big one in the art room. But the reason I like this one is because we can use, we can actually see it different ways. Again, um, if I turn my picture this way, I will see somebody else here. So there's another person right here with the face upside down. Um, he also used uh, lots of suns and moons, colored in really fun ways. And um, these little shapes here, right here, that are kind of like, uh, I'm not sure if they're stars or if they could be snowflakes. They give a lot of movement to the paintings. If you look at the, uh, the, the colors, he always uses the primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue. Now you also have black and just a little bit of green. So a pop of green. I'm going to show you another one. This one here. And again with abstract paintings everybody sees something different. So in here I see a magic carpet and a moon and I'm not sure if this person or what it is if it's an animal or a shape so you can use your imagination really to think about what this means or what it means to you. It will mean something else for to everybody. Here's a different one which is um, a dog. So again, if you wanted to draw a dog, how would you you know draw a cubist or an abstract dog? So cubist means that you're using geometric shapes. Abstract means that you're not sure, you know, what it looks like or that everybody can think about it in a different way. Again, the primary colors, yellow, red, blue, and just a little bit of green and black. So we're going to get started with our composition. A composition is the way that you arrange things or the way you decide to draw all the different elements on paper. So let's get started. I am ready to start my Miro um, coloring and drawing. So I'm going to share with you a drawing guide which shows us really cool shapes that we could use for our drawing. Now he used really fun shapes for eyes and nose. So these are options that you can use in your drawing and there was no neck just lines now the important thing is to close your lines so when you make a triangle or a circle or an oval always close the lines so that we can color them inside when we're done so i'm going to start mine right here with a nice kind of an oval shape actually it's not really a circle and then my eyes i'm going to start with two circles and then it kind of goes up and down just like that and then I'm gonna have my neck and a big triangle and I kind of did it sideways a little bit so I can have a little bit more movement and then my arms are going out triangles for hands and fingers Imagine that. And here is going to be a half circle. Now these ones could be muscles. I'm not sure. 
here's another one. And again, triangles and fingers at the end. And here's a cool muscle. And then for my legs, I'm going to start with some circles, which might be some knees. Not sure. So it's really fun because it really doesn't make any sense. So you're kind of doodling and adding shapes, adding fun lines. And then in here, I'm going to separate, make a few shapes. Don't make them too small because we will be coloring them. And most importantly, my hair. So, or hat, I'm not sure. And then right here, I'm going to make really cool moon. Actually, this is the sun. And then here will be my moon. There is a lot of these in Miro's paintings. There are also some stars or snowflakes, I'm not sure, but they do give a lot of um, kind of movement to the painting. And then I'm going to add maybe um, kind of a flying, flying rug or flying carpet. And so think about fun, you know, things, whimsical. I mean, this really doesn't make any sense, and that's why it's really fun. And then I will be coloring them in different colors a little bit later. Maybe I'm going to add a little bit more. So I'm ready to color. When I start coloring, I will be using primary colors. So I'm going to show you here. So we have our black. And uh, Miro uses the three primary colors, so a blue, it's kind of a cobalt blue, and red, you know, a nice bright red, and yellow. Now, he also has a pop of green, so I'm going to use a nice green as a pop. So I am going to get started. I will let my background white so that the colors really pop. So the other option that you have is to use paints instead of markers. So I recommend if you are doing paint, do coloring your blacks before you do paints because it's just easier to control with a Sharpie. So you could do just your few, a few black areas before you start. And then you can start painting. So I'm using these, uh, I'm going to be using these watercolor. And you can use any paints that you have at home. Um, make sure that you stay inside each of the, the areas that you like to paint. So for instance, I have a medium brush and I have a ballerina brush. But always try your colors before you go. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to my watercolor. And I have a piece of paper here so I can test it. Make sure you have a lot of paint on your brush so that there's a lot of pigment and it's a nice, beautiful, um, saturated color. So go as a wax wall. So it means I go around the edge of the shape and then I'm just going to go and fill it in. The other thing that is good is to do all your red areas or all the areas of that one color first before you move on to a different color. So I'm going to do all my reds first, and then I'm going to move on 
to a different color. So I'm going to continue and I'm going to again decide to leave my background white. 